Alright, well, hello everybody, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us, episode 4. We are back at it again, finally, we are, we, uh, in the, we're gonna be, ooh, English, man, English is hard, guys. Can you tell it's my first language? <laughs> it's definitely my first language, don't worry, guys, I know English very well. I can grammar. Anyways, uh, but yes, we last left off, obviously, completing episode 3, A Crooked Mile, where we found out... Not only is Ichabod, whatever that guy's name is, uh, something, I forgot his final, I forgot his last name, but it's Ichabod was like his first name, I think. Um, but basically, he was uh, presumed to be the killer, at least it looked like he might have been the killer. And then we figured out, oh wait, no he's not. And it's actually whoever the, the boss is behind the operation, the guy that was in charge, uh, not the guy that was in charge, but um, the, the, the girl from the first episode that died. Uh, she was afraid of somebody, or she was, um, what's it called, employed, I guess, um, by this, uh, shady people, uh, we found them out in episode three, um, so basically there's a whole another group of people that are behind everything, which I figured to be the case, I didn't think Ichabod was the main culprit, I figured he was a culprit that had, you know, committed one of the murders but maybe not all the maybe not the other ones um or at least was involved in some way but turns out he was uh, roughly involved uh barely barely but still enough to you know um what's it called an accomplice to call him an accomplice it's it's a, he was involved enough to be called an accomplice but not enough to be the name the not nearly enough at all to be the main suspect but anyways um, I, it's been a little while since I recorded episode 3, obviously with you guys, uh, you guys are only gonna be seeing this, um, probably in a release schedule, I'm probably gonna wait until I have all 5 episodes edited and, uh, release some, um, with, uh, like every few, every couple days or something, just to give you guys some time to enjoy the episodes, and something to look forward to, but, uh, yeah, for you guys, it might be only a few days, for me, it's been, oof, a few weeks, uh, since I recorded episode 3, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, we'll probably get a recap in the beginning of this episode, so without further ado, let us start episode 4, titled In Sheep's Clothing. Yeah, the story was unraveling quite a bit last episode, so I'm excited to see what happens next. And I forgot to... Okay, I'm gonna go back to... Let me go back to the main menu. All right, I gotta do this before I keep forgetting. Audio, video. There we go. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Crane, that's what that's his That's his secondary name. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess. Yeah, bro, I can really aggro really quickly. You are. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Yeah, but we also went full wolf mode. It was a good show, but you know. Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is to be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Uh, yeah. Really, I mean it. So oh, she's well, like the. In with the new, long live the queen. Not the, not the minion, but like what what's it called? Like the not not a psychic. It's like a psychic for villains. It's like a different name. Because they're like lower. The a psychic is kind of like next to a little bit, but. Uh, like second, it's like a second command or something type of thing. Oh jeez. What? The, what the frick? 
see around. What the frick? Oh yeah, we're dreaming that one. <clears throat> Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Oh, pick me. Oh, pick me out. This way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. What? What happened to me? There was. You got lucky, and found yourself in the care of a most skillful surgeon. Me. Please, oh, Bigby, frick, don't move that it. arm. Ugh. Look, I'm a bit engaged setting Gosh, his life at the moment. Gosh, dang it, bro. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh, really? Ah, oh, wow. All right. Ew. Okay. Frick, dude. <gasps> Oh, come on. We can do it. I believe in us. Oh. There we go. Easy does it. Oh, <laughs> oh bro. Hmm. Oh, bad. this is gruesome. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. <sighs> it's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. <laughs> oh, jeez. What a mess. Me way, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind... Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. We'll be done in a minute. <laughs> Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Impressive. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me, and, well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. That's why. Yeah, that, that silver be fine for light duty, bullet if can figure revolver out that, that she had. He knows what it Gotta means. watch out for that. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know. Yeah, you can say that again. Don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him. Please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch. And make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'll try. Anyways, I'll just keep quiet. Guest, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? I wasn't a big fan of uh, any of those options. So, how do you, um, feel? It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I uh -huh. see him take worse. Much worse. Not as good as can be expected. I think. 
So, not well, then. I'm glad Better you're not remain dead. positive. Oh. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never oh. seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an oh, action... Oh, ruin the moment, you idiot. Long way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about Colin just result. cock blocked me for real, for real. Nice rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? The crooked man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly hmm. like that. Crooked Man, that, that's he the guy behind it all. invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. <laughs> so he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow. Or all that back there. No problem. Thanks. She did do her You're best. Pissed that Crane's flown the coop. Oh, that the. I mean, it was either that or I died. So. Thumb. We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over. My ass would be down the witching well. Crane still would have been taken. Exactly. Okay, okay. I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is, just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane. He's right? got a bigger circle Getting than we thought. Out of town? Is this or all bigger about plan. the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Crane was a puppet, and the crooked man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily and Faith. I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know yeah, there's a lot of some working parts here that don't quite fit yet. Declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought. Uh, if that was, if that was an, if that wasn't an indication of war, I don't know what is. Years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need hmm. to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Look, I know things haven't gone great recently, but we're still doing our best. That's not good enough. That's not who I, was thought, uh, so, that's not who I thought I was talking now, to. We do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying huh. I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned yeah, into- Yeah, I mean- It can't happen again. We need monsters. At the very least, this is gonna be needed monsters. to right the ship. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice- I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for That's that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. 
He'll get the job That's... done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. Of course. And we this can res all, we, we need to is, is respect each other situation. and figure out a middle all ground to work this out. Starting today, have to go and stay at the. Farm. Oh, give me a fucking break! Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin, and Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Monday does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. If Snow says that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a glamour. Get a glamour? With what money? You think I can work? I don't even have thumbs. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long. I kind of feel bad for Colin. And I should probably change out of these clothes. That's a good Consider idea. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here, right? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Yeah, there we go. We righted the ship. We're all good. I did want to respect Snow in her decision, and obviously with a decision like that, you, you can't be complacent and only do it to some people and not do it to everybody, because that wouldn't be fair, but I also want to respect the friendship with Colin, because he's not hurting nobody, you know? Oh, it's, uh, Nerissa, the front, her name is the little, the front, her name is Nerissa, that's her pseudo name for Little Mermaid. Right, right. So four in sheep's clothing. Hi. All right, let's get it. Hi, Narissa. What can I do you for? Have a seat. The FNAF fan. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. <sighs> I wasn't sure you'd be. Let's just say I've been better. <coughs> yeah, Puffin let's... Puffs. Not many people smoke those. Oh, she's got the nice stuff. Of course she does. Thanks. So what is it you to want to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. 
There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell right, because you're, you're break. spellbound. Not just while you're at work, huh? The crooked man. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room at the pudding okay. pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You hmm. can try. That's smart. I just go ahead. It might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. You sent me there. Was there someone else you wanted me to find there? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Is this making any sense? I'm not I'm sure how I can... Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Hmm. Are you? Good thing we put friendship over... Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... Oh, I do. Don't worry. But your lips are sealed. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Huh. Um Can't we just take the ribbon off? No! His lips are sealed! What? Yep, okay. yep, yep, yep. Just stay back. Okay, okay. I, I, that's why you I didn't remove it all the way, just in case. That. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow down. Okay. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. I was just saying it. I wasn't trying to actually do it. Okay, Please. I'm sorry. Don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. Oh. So the ribbons, if you take them off, you die. Probably snow. Uh, let's Listen, double check if it is, Jared, though. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Thank you. <sighs> Don't worry, Snow. It's not what it looks like. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. 
Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. She does, though. That was... Uh, abrupt. Yeah, you should have... Uh, message. Heard her earlier. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then, good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just huh. heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on. That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. I I agree. You know, There's multiple things pointing. All those, back. all those things were pointing to she that same thing. So, financial assistance. I told her there was all nothing those options, I could do, I and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Big B, yeah, you don't think she, she meant that she was there. going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain oh, why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows? Yeah. That? I have other matters to attend to. All right. All right, here we go. Let's hope they're not dead. Wanted to tell me what you were into with either. good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to. Hello? I'm not sure I'll break open their door. <laughs> what do you think I am? Oh. Hey, what what's up, want? buddy? Well? Uh, to talk? You're just going around knocking on doors? Stirring you the called. pot. You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal okay, with bro. the runaround. Okay, bro. You need to chill. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Okay, bro. So Nothing that you, crazy. Beauty. Yet, what have I done, bro? Around and secrets. Somehow, I'm still the bad guy in this. Yeah, because you're jumping to conclusions. Long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast. Are you gonna let me in or what? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Okay, that's probably gonna go well. Anyways, let me do some snooping. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Oh man. Where did he tell you're going to make a problem out of this? What is he doing Ooh. here? We don't need to bring him into this. I know what the electric bill is for that thing. Trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Hmm. Do you want to keep hmm. fighting about that? Talk about living in the past. This out. All I'm saying is we can handle this on no our own. No kidding. We have to bring him here. We're out of money. a nice apartment. What the heck, dude? That's... Sorry. It's been a long night. Yeah. You know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out from the crooked man? 
I didn't know what else to do. So... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here. And this I is bigger than you, pal. Can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what That's happens true. when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that crooked bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so That's much debt. Not, okay. Look around you. This isn't the no, way people that's... short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle. Okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never Bruh. meant for it to get like this. It's just that... Alright, yeah, no, never mind. I don't feel as bad turn. anymore. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Oh, like everybody else? Alright. Alright, guys. Okay. Alright. <laughs> I get it if you're used okay. to a certain you lifestyle, I guess, but... And, beast. and we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone right back? now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> what the fuck was that? Ah, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really? Um... I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. Who was that? You know who that was. Don't hold out on me. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people trying to collect, and we aren't safe, even in our own home. We owe some money. Uh huh. Finally. That figures. All I care I'm glad about you guys is finally got how that can out. I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? I cannot promise protection, so I wasn't gonna do that. I'll do my best for sure, but I can't promise the lucky anything. Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The crooked man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh, yeah. That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just mm. regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman okay, so back there the just the other man, day. But it was in a display or maybe case. it is, I don't know. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, I can make enough noise. Everything's connected. We just gotta me. figure Hold out on, and Bicky, fill in the busy there. pieces. Sounds like you're just going to get beauty in trouble. And okay, but what are you? What else am I supposed you know to do? That butcher shop, the cut above. It's the place on top <laughs> the of cut the above. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is. It's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the crooked man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. Yeah, that never figures, seems to be yeah. to the same place. But it always comes out of the butcher shop. 
How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know, and I try to I'm not here to but I don't judge to them. I'm here to get information. Damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. Oh yeah, we have uh, some grievances with Bloody Mary. Her beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. And that was the way to we do it. Have All to right. Live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, frick. Right, so if we go to the Lucky Pond. The Lucky Pond. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. You know that butcher shop, the cut above? The thing is, I don't think it's meat in the packages. I think. You know that. I feel like shop, I should go to the butcher the shop because. Above. Because I, I hate the, the I hate that there's the always talking with this. It's so annoying. Um, because if we go pond. to the lucky pond, that could get Beauty in trouble. We don't want that, shop. so we're gonna go to the butcher shop. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the lucky pond after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Oh, should I go to the Lucky Pond? I thought I wasn't supposed to. Okay, listen, I, I know there's risk and reward. Find the crooked man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. Don't let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Big B. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. I hope I will. Okay, here we go. Well, too bad. I'm doing that anyway. Actually, wait. You know what? I'll stop. Gotta be respectful. Um. Bet that's what Beast was talking about. Hmm. That logo looks familiar. I've seen this before at the Tweedles. Interesting. Count. So open the counter door. I don't. Wanna, I don't want to just walk in. Cold drinks, sign, frozen meat. Not very appetizing. Frozen yeah, that looks salt. terrible. Who'd want to eat this? Ugh. That's a very small collection of drinks. I don't see these cuts anywhere in here. Huh, empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. 
This looks like a very rundown right. place. Oh, hello there. Big B Wolf? <clears throat> well, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? You probably know um, I'm here, don't you? Let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin, ribs. Johan, I want to know exactly what's going on here. We sell meat. Did you want to buy something? No, you know. That's a front. <laughs> we all know it. We both know it. Come on, dude. What you see is what you get. All right. Just do I have to be rough with you? Do you want me to? Else? Do you want me to be tough with you? Rough we and just, tough. Uh, you don't want that from me, buddy. You just. It's better. Walk up service. You just be honest. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. Oh frick! I, I didn't realize how fast Sheriff, things are going. I... Did you hear that? Ooh. What? Oh, I'm real sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. Oh, right yep, back. he pressed a button. Butcher, I just he pressed a button. Go see. Frick, go. Yep. Shit. Oh, frick, dang it. I knew I should have been more up front. I, 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 meant, to, I meant to say something sooner. A lot of meat. What the heck, dude? Just wait out front. I I'll be right there. I I've got a bit of a mess back here. Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. I'm sorry, and if you Sheriff, don't, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Mm-hmm. Sure, buddy. Such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. Then why'd you press the button, you idiot? <sighs> He's gonna get me killed. <sighs> Things I do. What are you hiding behind that door? Huh? Please, please, Bigby. Please don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. If you don't you talk, better talk I then. might have to do just that. Is that what you want, Johan? No, no, please. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy, even when they got down the hook in the deep freeze. They? You mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Oh, so this guy is innocent. Okay. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. You want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me. Took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day. Playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm not allowed to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. But there would be the day. Well, we're just going to open it right up. No need to listen. <clears throat> Oh, 
A meth lab? Bro, what? Like uh, cooking some good stuff in here. Oh, there's the run button. Yeah, you know this is back here, don't ya? Oh, Jesus, bro, what the frick is all this? What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business, it's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. These lights, Johan. Did you warn them I was here? I had to. Did you though? Come in here, Did make you though? Trouble for me. But you only give a shit now cuz the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you okay, when bro. they took this place from me? I mean, uh, all right, you it know what? I, I'm trying to do my best, bro. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? Well, I'm here now. I'm going to sort this all out. Yeah, I do want to help you guys. I just don't know who's innocent and who's not, okay? Sue me, bro. So this is oh, what Beast was glamour. delivering. Glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Okay. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. No, he's got I know he's I know you're not, buddy. All right, I believe him. I just wasn't gonna believe him outright. Okay, glad I did that. That was a waste of time. That symbol, it's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? Guess they never use that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. Oh, uh, I know, I know what kind of device it is. Yeah, yeah. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked, like breaking their bones. And do I really need to explain this? No, I, I know what it does. Thank you. What's all this? Huh. Looks like math or something. Or formulas or something? I don't know. Ooh. Shit. Is everybody on here? Do you know anything about wow. this? I, I I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. Maybe I should have told him to calm down earlier, but I just wasn't sure I needed to. I was tired of people just like These are leading me along. Making magic. I was like, get, just get to the point. Just tell me. Any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables and magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials. Slave labor to process them. And with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. That's pretty clear why. Oh, yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. When I get my hands on that crooked bastard. Make him pay for all this. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Wow, he must have. If this all I mean finding the crooked man is so fucking important, why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. 
and leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. <sighs> Mirror's Can't broken. You just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble. Do it right from your living room. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. Probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the... Uh, hey, boy, but it's probably going to be gone well, now. real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? That's yeah. true. Uh, you did help me out. What the hell am I, I supposed to do you. now? I'm going to have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Of course. I gotta get my reputation back up in a positive light. And also help by, but also, like, I genuinely want to help people. That's the main concern. But, like, helping my reputation get to a more positive light helps people, uh, like, really genuinely believe that I'm trying to help and not just that I'm trying to do my own thing. So. All right. Here we go. Jersey, don't don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just going to my fucking Jack, system. What the fuck is going on? But you I'm uh, the guy who just going to I'm the guy that keeps uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? <clears throat> I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my. So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you okay, later. guys. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do Bloody I. Bloody Mary has it, listen, buddy. I, can, I got. The, hey, listen. Okay, alright. Guys, chill out. Oh, okay. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? Trust me. You do not want to go there. And what if I do? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine. My axe. You talk yeah, and I can let you know well, who has it in just a second. To back it up. Oh, frick off, sore, guys. Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You know what? Okay. I'm just no. going to handle you myself, and I won't need no silver bullets. <laughs> frick you. You fucking motherfuckers. Ugh. Ugh. Oh. You've done it now, shithead. You really done it now. I'm gonna be. So you wanna keep talking? You this is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Okay. What the frick are you? Okay. That's enough. I can't be fighting, man. What is going on? Too bad you could protect those whores. Oh my gosh. Try to stop Fucking stay There she is. Oh my freaking heck. Oh wait, she's right there. Frick you. Frick! Oh, okay. Alright, you're a tough guy now, huh? Take that! Alright, I don't feel bad anymore. I'm not holding back. Frick you! Oh, I'm about to break your horns, bro. And, frick you. No, you. Uh, 
Okay. Ow! You gotta be kidding me, bro. You actually gotta be dumb. Hey, asshole. I found her. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Woody. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Holy frick, dude. That was intense. That was intense. The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. No clue about who was really running this town. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Fucking bitch. Where's Crane's stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. All right. Finally Just go me some on. information. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. Bottom pocket. No time for traveler's checks, huh? <laughs> Give me that money. Anymore. Give me that. That's mine now. That sick piece oh, of... Ew. The shard. It's the shard. Let's go. Finally. Yeah, I don't really feel bad for stomping on that guy. He he, he could have started talking after he hey, lost the Sheriff. fight, but then he started uh, yapping. Those so. girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't yeah, know I realize that. Did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can roar, smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Cause I know it's not gonna do much, but you attack me first, bro. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. With that did not have to go like that if he didn't just start going crazy. I was done with his crap, bro. I could have asked him instead of stomping him, but <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. <laughs> oh, fair enough, I guess. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something we can do about it. We can get the fucker who did it. That, the that is my goal. Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, go do it then. Also, you might want to sharpen that axe. It's pretty dull. Hey, Woody. Yeah. You 
gonna be all right. You know me. Figured I'd just, uh, you know, check in on him real quick. Alrighty. Well, that was fun. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Oh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment. This guy please. really annoys me. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Frick, frick you, dude. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report Crane back used the to mirror me. to find them, all I mean, down the quick man's door fine. moves. I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pond. He told me that the crooked man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door, once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Pompous ass. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? I don't understand. <laughs> this place just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea? Uh, that felt good. Uh, hey. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. Crane was carrying it, for part of the night at least. I found it in his coat. It's uh, pretty amazing it's still intact after the fight, the kidnapping, and then riding around with Bloody Mary for an hour. Uh, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might Fair want enough. to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. Huh? Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I, I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch uh, a murderer, and they're... They're just arguing, schmarguing. They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're yeah, very non-important things. they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know... We can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. All right, all right, Toad. So uh, unlike Colin, we're not friends. So sorry, bro. It's got. Well, you, you gotta go, bro. What damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. Toad, this is the business office, not a bank. You're always talking about glamours, and now it's my responsibility. Well, what about your responsibility? My car, total, the gaping mall in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. Ooh. I need it, Big B. Okay, here you go. Here. I got I you. Be getting any use out of this. 
Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamour, Toad. You got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. But of course. I forgot I had the crane's money. Alright, that changes things a little bit. There you go, buddy. Well, glad we could figure that out. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. Okay, here's the thing with... Because obviously Snow is trying to have all non-glamoured fables to the farm, right? Makes sense. Um, however, with Colin, he's not going to be going anywhere. He's a freaking pig. No one cares about pigs. As much as they do about talking frogs. I mean, ugh. The, the, the toad's kind of iffy. I mean, he kind of wa he walks and dresses like a person, so that's a little different. The Colin can pass as a pig, no problem. But, and he's he's just going to be chilling in my in with me, so he's not going to cause anybody harm. Uh, with Toad, his thing was that he didn't have enough for glamour, so, excuse me, he was going to have to be sent to the farm. But we gave him Crane's money, so we didn't, we technically didn't give him any, didn't really give him our money. Um, but yeah, we're helping him out. He's going to get glamoured so that way he doesn't have to go to the farm and that, and boom, we're okay. Things are okay because the main thing was that it's non-glamoured because the, the whole thing with Snow and her rules was that non-glamoured fables need to go to the farm. Well, as long as he's glamoured, then we're fine. So we'll just try to talk well, to her about that at least if she he's brings not it up. To get rid of me. He's not. For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now. But glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that yep. as well as anyone. Don't worry. I did the right thing. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this. But I just keep wondering why it happened. To Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? What could those girls have done? If there's one thing I've figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told, or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. I have to been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. <laughs> Had to add some extra stuff there. He's probably still waking up a little. Are you really sure you want to see him? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Of course you know someone's watching. just happened we pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at bloody mary's reflection oh her that explains the sting i'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings so let's not do that again okay looks like we'll have to track him down later you're right we need to focus on the immediate threat and that's the crooked man bigby we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. Oh. The door. It moves. What'd I tell you? Wait a minute. 
I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high. <sighs> You're you right. Your reasons to handle this a certain way, but we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. And we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. I'll do my best. The Gothic Bridge. Oh boy, we're right into it. Alright, here we go. Oh, it's, it's right there. There's just a door under our bridge. Alright, fine, sure. Why not? Wabooski! Okay. Here we go. And there she goes. I mean, I don't even know who this is. Oh, Tim. what? What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Leaving off admit, Tiny? When they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know. They said you made it pretty clear. That's freaky. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine. Lead okay. On. I'll go with it for now. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. <laughs> I thought it was a joke, actually. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to okay. have it. This is the only option I've got. Do you know Just anything of what he's involved in or what he's done to anybody else except yourself? Other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle, and if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? You work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? You fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? What? A lot of us That's... depend what on did him. I say that? Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Yeah, hey, we Sheriff, don't need a war, hold but... Up. I gotta go in with well, you. We... Thanks. <laughs> we don't need the crook. We don't need Crane. We also don't need him. We need. Okay, whatever. You know what? Go ahead. First. You got a job to do. I'll just Sheriff sit back and watch Wolf, and figure things out. Oh. What the frick? Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir.
Sorry, see, Jersey. Everyone in Fable Town but also not, sorry. Them. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Hmm, I see who's all involved now. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Yeah, that we do. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. Was that the end of the episode? Shoot, bro, that was short. Okay. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <clears throat> hmm. Interesting. Okay. Did you send Colin to the farm? You and 49.7% of players decide Colin should not go to the farm. Did you attempt to remove Nerissa's ribbon? You and 60.2% of players did not try to remove the ribbon. Okay. Uh, you and 48.3% of players went to the cut above first. Yeah, those are one. The, the, I, I figure the decisions to like go to a certain place or the other are pretty 50-50 for the most part. Uh, you and 50.7% of players decided Toad should not go to the farm. Okay, nice. How did you respond to the Crooked Man? You and 17.1% of players agreed to talk with him first. Interesting, that is in the very minority. Well, I mean, there's no use in getting things riled up. Uh, we, there's, we might as well hear people out first. See what he has to say and then act after. Plus, we're supposed to bring him in alive, so, you know. There's that. And I also wonder that if there's something to do with, like, the Crooked Man actually having, uh, actually having, like, qualities, kind of like, okay, hear me out, kind of, kind of excuse me, kind of having, having villain qualities, kind of like Thanos in the sense that he has good intentions, but is doing them, but is going about those intentions in the worst way possible, kind of thing. So, like, he's got, he's, he, he wants good for the world. Like Thanos wanted good for the world. He wanted to help humanity, but his way of helping people was wiping out half the planet. That that was his way of helping people. But he generally thought that was the right way to go about things. Maybe it's not exactly like that, but I feel like it's a similar thing with the. It, it could be a similar thing with the Crooked Man, where like he's trying to do the right thing for people, trying to help people out, but is going about it in like a really terrible way, and it's resulting in a lot of people dying, and uh, living in these ter living these terrible lives and. Yeah, so we'll have to figure those things out and see what happens next, but that is going to be the end of today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. I cannot wait for the finale of this series. It has been, it's been, it's been a good one, man. Um, the only thing I'd say with my decision making is sometimes I can forget things that happened before or how exactly I've gone about things. So if consistency is somewhat of an issue, I try to do my best on that, but sometimes I just forget like what I was doing before. So like I choose an option where like, okay, so I have the decision to do this or that. Was I being aggressive before? Was I trying not to be aggressive and stuff like that? Or especially in the fights. I think that, that last fight we had with uh, Jersey was the first time I did not feel bad about just walloping the dude. Um, and I think the thing is with the, with most of the fights, it seems that now I've gotten to the point where it'll tell, it'll, it'll most likely give you a choice to stop fighting. Um, so you don't have to like not fight because most of the time that's going to result in you dying. So we'll just have to see what happens next. And, uh, man, I'm excited to see just, uh, how the story unravels, man. Um, I've really liked Big B, a Big B as a character and Snow as a character. Colin has been a surprisingly entertaining character as well and Toad as well. Um, 
I don't know. I think the characters in this, the series are pretty good. The writings, for the most part, is pretty good. I'm just, I'm really, I just really enjoy the writing and the story that they have going on here. That, and the the characters, and how they're ingrating like all the different fairy tales into like a modern setting. It's really interesting, and I'm uh, really excited and really hopeful that the uh, sequel to Wolf Among Us, Wolf Among Us 2 really does come into fruition because there's been some setbacks so I really hope it doesn't get cancelled but uh yeah other than that I really have nothing else to say I hope you guys do enjoy this uh uh this excuse me this series and have enjoyed this series I mean I'm just gonna read them but yeah I really have nothing else to say other than that um thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode and are enjoying this series I know I am and I hope you guys look forward to, and are excited for uh the finale of The Wolf Among Us we are going to be unraveling in the very next episode the final straw, the final piece of the puzzle to fit this mystery and solve it for once once and for all. So, until next time, hope you guys have a good day, good rest of your week, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!